Hey, this is Matt Tebow. Um, this is the Online Prosperity Show. And I'm going to be talking about how I went from cycling to starting a digital marketing consultancy and stay locked in. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got none other than Matt. Matt, how are you going, sir? Very good, man. Thanks a lot for having me here. Now, Matt manages a marketing consultancy where if you've got the next big thing, they've got the experience and the tools to make it a sensation. Now, Matt, did I say that right? Yeah, you did. Definitely. <laughs> Great, sir. So, Matt, tell us a little bit about your consultancy. How does it um, operate? Yeah. When did you start? Just a brief um, history of who uh, Matt Tebow is. Yeah, yeah. So, um, from, so from like a, a young age, I was always entrepreneurial. I didn't really know that I was an entrepreneur, but I was just doing entrepreneurial things. So, I was, you know, I was importing stuff from China and selling it to my friends, that kind of stuff at a pretty young age. And, uh, and then I got into cycling and I got really into riding my bike uh, from my parents. And, uh, and so I was, I was getting really, really into riding my bike and I actually found a way to monetize that. I was doing bike shows and, and stunt shows around, my, uh, around Ottawa and Ontario where I'm from. And, and then, so my parents were though, after a while got a little concerned because they're like, our son's not going to university or any of this stuff. And so I went, ended up going to university. And while I was in university doing a communications degree, um, my dad had a family friend who was a digital marketer. He was doing online marketing and stuff like that. And that kind of interested me. And I started talking to him more and more. And, and I eventually started uh, selling eBooks on Amazon, just inspired by him. I was like, oh, maybe I should try this stuff. And uh, yeah, and, and so from there, um, I started really realizing like, this is something that I, I really like doing. I like to do digital marketing. And when I graduated university, I got a digital marketing job at a startup and I started working there and doing work for them. But I also realized that everyone else, all these business owners at this place needed help too. So I started helping them and I actually left my job and I started helping more and more business owners. And then from there, I just started labeling myself like, oh, I'm a digital marketing consultant from there. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. So, so yeah. essentially, your OCD led to your character. I mean, your obsessive cycling yeah. disorder. Definitely. Yeah. Like that was, uh, that was everything for me. And then I transferred that obsession over to marketing. Right. Your obsessive cycling disorder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Great stuff. All right. So you took what was a passion and along the way you found um, something that then culminated into a career. Okay. So people that might be watching, they might be scrapping the barrel right now trying to figure out, you know, what exactly I should do, but you just seem to have had it. Was there any sort of inspiration besides uh, the family friend or what was around you that showed you that this was a lucrative way to go? Because some kids your age would have wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer or a pilot, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. What was the inspiration yeah. around that? Yeah, yeah. So honestly, I believe the biggest inspiration for me is that I still, even though when I was in university, I saw this digital marketing stuff and I knew it was very cool and real, I still was like, well, maybe I'll try out the nine to five, you know? Maybe I'll try try out that way of life. And so I tried it out and it's honestly not what it's cracked up to be. I found that like for me personally, if I'm not working for myself and managing these projects and all this stuff, I just didn't have like that passion. Right. And so for me, the biggest inspiration was like actually working in that nine to five life. You really realize that it's, it's anticlimactic. It's not what, what you thought it was going to be, you know? Great stuff. All right. So, you being in Canada and, you know, reaching out to all these people, um, you know, doing all these successful competitions and YouTube videos across North America, how do you keep yourself wanting more, all right? How do you keep yourself energized about, you know, your work? Because all these things are usually changing. And some people give up in the process. You know, Facebook comes up with a different algorithm and then some people just get disheartened. How do you keep yourself, um, you know, wanting more in, in your work? Yeah, yeah. So I, I feel like it's just kind of, um, it's a realization I've had like 
nothing good comes from giving up. And I've really realized that with, with my cycling career is that, you know, in the beginning, obviously nothing great was really happening within the first couple of months of me riding my bike. And after a time, the compound interest of all of your hard work really, really is like success breeds success. Right. And so the more that I realized, like, if I can just apply my same philosophy that I did when I was riding my bike to business, I see it the same way. Like when I'm, when I was starting, when I was starting trying to get more clients, it was very hard. Right. But the more you do it, the more success you have. And I find it's like addictive. The more, the more and more success that you go after, it's just like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Great. Okay. So yeah. in, in all of this, did you have a mentor or is it uh, something that you have really put your, your, your mind to? I see you've got certificates behind you there. Um, tell us yeah. a little bit about those. Yeah, yeah. So I, I 100% believe that if you want to be successful, you need a mentor. Because um, I did not, I did not go about doing this alone. Is that like, I carefully studied, um, I carefully studied Frank Kern, uh, Jeff Walker, a lot of these uh, digital marketing gurus, I, I really looked up to them. And I studied very carefully and bought their courses. Um, I really believe that mentorship is the best way to fast track your way to success for sure. Great stuff. You mentioned um, Frank Kern. I'm an avid, um, you know, follow of Frank Kern. I'm actually in the inner circle with uh, yeah. McCurdy himself. Um, you know, how do you find all of this not overwhelming? Because every second person is coming up with a new shiny <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How do you keep yourself grounded and, uh, you know, follow your path? What, what is it that, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like stay, yeah, like stay focused in entrepreneur in uh, digital space. Yeah. Um, I think that's a really big problem is that we're seeing like a lot of entrepreneurs are, there's always a next opportunity, right? And, uh, everyone wants to jump ship on what they're doing and go into that. And, um, I think there's something to be said for having focus on something. And so regardless of what's going on around you and what people are saying, so people, you know, are saying that like the digital marketing space, everything's shifting over here and like, you know, uh, Facebook's going to be dead or like this is all these things. And, and at the end of the day, um, I really believe that if you focus in on one thing and dominate that one thing and just focus, laser focus, you're going to dominate that sector. And that's how, that's how you become successful. Great stuff. So obviously yeah. you having built um, this whole consulting uh, firm that you now have, yeah. you would have used a few resources that actually maybe some you're still using today or some that you use in your day to day. What sort of um, uh, resources are you using? Maybe apps or um, utilities that are keeping you very productive and on top of your game. Yeah, yeah. So um, for managing contractors or anything like that, I'll use like Asana and Slack. Those right. are two really good tools for um, managing a team. Um, in terms of like, uh, I find like training or, or training like for skills or something and assessing skills, um, I have like those digital marketer certifications behind me, but so like those are, uh, I think digitalmarketer.com is a great resource if you want to like, you know, learn about, uh, that kind of, these kind of skills and get like a certification in it. Is that um, with Ryan, Ryan Days? Yeah. So I'm a big fan, but, um, in terms of software tools, yeah, I think that those two productive, uh, tools, Asana and Slack, and then. Uh, you need a tool also for generating like appointments, like scheduled appointments. So for that, I use Calendly. So what, what sort of advice are you going to give to somebody who doesn't have the same OCD that you have, the obsessive yeah. cycling disorder? You know, <laughs> well, what sort of advice are you going to give them, um, you know, if they're going to go into digital marketing, uh, you know, for the first time? what is it that they can expect and what is it that they should look out for and you know, how can they progress? Yeah. I think the best way for someone to progress in digital marketing is that you want to start really consuming as much uh, knowledge you can about one specific thing. So focus in on like 
one thing that you find interesting, so whether it be like SEO or something, in the beginning I was focusing on some things and then I realized, oh, like maybe that's not what, what I want to focus on right now. And so, but I think that if you want to get started in digital marketing, I would say that focus in on one thing and just uh, consume as much information you can about it and then try to do it yourself and just kind of hop into it and try doing that one thing. And by doing that, uh, not only learning the information, but applying it, you're going to do a lot better. You are there now, Matt. Um, it's been all this time, all this experience, and now you've got a stream of clients. Let's say you never ended up being a digital marketer and yeah. you probably just continued doing your cycling. Where would you have ended up if the internet didn't exist? Oh man, that's, that's a scary thought. Uh, I think honestly, like for me, I really wanted to get out of uh, professional cycling and all that because when you're working a job and you're, you're working a job or you're doing uh, something contract work that's so cycling career is dependent on your body, right? So if something happens to your body, you're done. That's it. Um, same thing with uh, being an employee is that um, if whatever skill you go into school and you graduate and it's done, that's it. It's over too. like your, your skill is now obsolete. And a lot of people are finding that they're going to school like for years and years and years. Right. And so like, honestly, for me, the safe bet was entrepreneurship. If it wasn't online entrepreneurship, it would have been offline because um, for me, it just seems like the safer bet. It's, it's funny. You did mention something about school. I don't know if you still remember the isosceles triangle or the Pythagoras <laughs> theorem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, you know something, Matt. Every day that I wake up as a digital marketer, um, there's always somebody who hasn't been sleeping and is created something that's designed to take my job away in the form of an app or a software. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How, what are you doing to ensure that you are continuously growing and you are developing yeah. as a digital marketer and you're always um, ahead of the curve? Yeah. Yeah. So one thing, one trait that's very important, like as a digital marketer is that you want to be adaptable. So you always want to, you want to be looking at the trends that's happening, the way that the algorithms are working, the way that all these um, things are changing. And so, it's funny, like you cannot, as like traditional school, you can't just learn a skill and then it's good for life, right? You can't like, you can't just do that. As a digital marketer, you always, always, always need to be educating yourself about these changes. Great stuff. Well, yeah. man, Matt, you have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, what then, uh, just in case somebody's watching here and then figures out that Matt is my guy, although we're going to put the links at the bottom there, how can people get a hold of you to learn a little bit more or just follow what it is that you are um, uh, putting out there? Yep. So they can go to my website, matttebow.com, or I'm very active on my Facebook profile. So they can just add me on Facebook, uh, Matt Tebow. All right. I'm probably going to be the first person to add you just so that you can <laughs> track how your video is going to go. But thank you so much. I know you yeah. reach no problem, man. Thank you. Matt, you've been an absolute pleasure, my man. And thank you so much for your time, man. Yeah? yeah, pleasure being here. Thank you for having me. So if you've been tuning in and you've been watching Matt, uh, we're going to leave the details of his website right at the bottom there. And make sure you follow him so that you too can learn, grow, and prosper. Thank you so much for tuning in and see you on the next episode.